Raghunath Das Goswami was a multi, multi millionaire. He was the only heir of his father and uncle's enormous wealth. But he wanted to leave it all behind because he wanted to surrender his whole life in assisting Lord Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. And in so many ways and so many times, he tried to escape from his home. But his parents, they had at all times 12 guards watching him. He couldn't escape. Every time he'd go away, they'd bring him back. He had no material attachments. And at a certain time, with his guards and his father's representatives, he went to meet Lord Chaitanya in Shantipur. And Lord Chaitanya Mahaprabhu told him that do not be a Markata Vairagya, a monkey renunciate. Go back home and perform your duties very carefully, very exemplary. And when Krishna gives his mercy to you, then you will come. So Raghunath Das Goswami went back and tried to do that. When he heard Nityananda Prabhu was in Panihati, with his father's permission, he went there, surrounded by guards. And as Bhakti Charu Swami Maharaj so beautifully explained in Prabhupada writes in Sri Chaitanya Charitamrita, from a distance, he felt himself so, so unqualified in the presence of so many great devotees. From a distance, he offered his obeisances. Nityananda Prabhu, he said, you are a thief. Please come here. I will punish you. And Bhakti Charu Maharaj gave such a beautiful insight of the idea of a thief because he was trying to approach Lord Chaitanya directly. Yasya Prasada Bhagavat Prasada. We approach through our Guru. It's not a material consideration, it's Krishna's arrangement. And Nityananda Prabhu is the original Guru. Lord Chaitanya Mahaprabhu entrusted the supreme treasure house of love of God in the hands of Nityananda Prabhu. And we can't get that treasure directly from Krishna or Lord Chaitanya, but we must receive it from whom Radharani, Krishna and Mahaprabhu have entrusted it. So that love of God is Nityananda Prabhu's property. And by trying to go directly to Lord Chaitanya, he was trying to steal that property. So Nityananda Prabhu gave him the atonement. Feed all my devotees with chitta dahi, chipped rice and yogurt. And Raghunath Das Goswami, along with his assistants, he engaged them all. <laughs> <laughs> the people who came to guard him and to drag him back home, Raghunath Das Goswami engaged them all in assisting Lord Nityananda. They were buying um, yogurt and they were buying condensed milk and they were buying chida and they were buying special bananas and they were buying fruits and sweets and cakes and everything. And they were making big, big clay barrels and soaking the chipped rice in the yogurt and just in another batch in the condensed milk and it became so glorious as he was serving out soon all the devotees around and all the villagers heard and the entire riverbank was filled with thousands of people and there were so many people that they couldn't fit in the riverbank. They were standing in the current of the Ganga and each person had two clay cups, one with chipped rice soaked with yogurt and sugar and bananas and the other with condensed milk and ghee and special bananas and camphor. And in this way, they were all having this chitta dahi kutsa. And Raghava Pandit came and told Nityananda Prabhu that I invited you to my, to my ashram, my home for lunch, and now you're eating here. Nityananda Prabhu said, I'm a cowherd boy. I like to sit on the bank of the river under a tree with my friends and take prasad. I will come to your house tonight and we will have kirtan. The next day, Raghunath Das Goswami was so humble. Raghava Pandit brought him before Nityananda Prabhu. And Raghunath Das Goswami was just praying from the core of his heart that he could be engaged in the loving service of the Lord and his devotees. And it was at that place, on the bank of the Ganga and Panihati, that Nityananda Prabhu blessed him. He said, 
Your feast was so wonderful. I enjoyed it so much that I called Lord Chaitanya to come here. Only myself and a few others could actually see him, but he came here and he was taking prasad under this tree on the bank of the river with me. Because Lord Chaitanya was so pleased with your service. And because all the devotees, the Vaishnavas and all the common people are so happy, you will be blessed. Go to each Vaishnav and receive their blessings. Bhagavanath Das Goswami went to each and every devotee and bowed at their feet and begged for blessings with tears of sincerity. And he asked and he received. And he came back to Lord Nityananda Prabhu and Lord Nityananda said, because you pleased Lord Chaitanya by this feast and because you have received the blessings of each devotee, I give you my blessing that very soon you will be liberated from all the bondage of all material connections in life. You will be a constant associate of Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu and Jagannath Puri. Lord Chaitanya will put you in the charge of his own personal secretary, Srila Swarup Damodar Goswami Maharaj. Now you go home and the time will soon come. Bhagunath Das Goswami became our Prayojana Acharya. The person who Lord Chaitanya Mahaprabhu especially inspired to reveal the highest level of the gopis' love for Krishna. Prayojana is the sweetness of the love of the gopis. It was by the mercy of Nityananda and Panihati, which represents Guru Tattva, that this took place. 